The 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo have been postponed to 2021. That decision impacts thousands of athletes around the world, including many from here in the Chicago area. Matt Zahn talked with one local Paralympic hopeful whose plans are now on hold, Matt. Yeah, shocking decision, but one many of us saw coming. Erica, like most of us, Glen Allen native, a Hila Lettenberger knew this decision was probably coming. There's just no way to safely pull off the Olympics this summer. But even if it's the right decision, it's still hard on these athletes who've been preparing for this moment for so long. We first met Paris swimmer Ahalia Lettenberger last summer when she was training twice a day, six days a week with her sights set on the Paralympic Games. After winning a silver medal at the World Championships last year, the Glen Allen teen was feeling great heading into the June Paralympic trials before moving on to Tokyo. Now that dream is on hold. And everybody's just kind of in shock and like we all understand that this is what has to happen, but it is it is a little bit of a bummer that, I mean, you plan for this for so long. I mean, we've been training four years for this, and like for me, this has been my dream since I started competing. While Ahalia can no longer go to the pool as part of her daily routine, she has been using her hand cycle at home to continue strength training and knows that even if the competition would have continued this summer, the athletes wouldn't have been at the top of their games. It's like not just me not training, it's everybody not training. And in that aspect, like you want it to be an equal playing field and you want you also want everybody to be able to perform their best at the games. So if they held it in July like it was supposed to be, you just it would be impossible to have the performances that you would like to have just because of this barrier in, in our training. And like many of the athletes, Ahila had not yet officially qualified for the Paralympics, but she's ranked eighth on the U.S. squad and was a good bet to make the team. And like most athletes, she will now take a bit of a break before at some point getting back to basically nonstop training. Erica? Well, I know you talked to several of these <laughs> athletes. How confident are others that now that they don't have ideal yeah. conditions for training, that they'll be able to be ready for the qualifying, right. let alone the Olympics a year from now? Well, you know, a year does probably give them enough time, assuming everything gets back to normal at some point in the next few months. Uh, you know, some of the qualifying hadn't even happened yet. And I talked to, uh, you mentioned another Olympian. He, she said she's keeping busy in her own house in, in quarantine right now. So that's what they're trying to do now. We'll see how long this takes. But I, I think it's pretty feasible that 2021 can be pulled off. All right, Matt, thank you. Yeah.